Good morning, everybody. John Bonham here, Cape Cod Wet Shaving. How's it going? Uh, another beautiful day, another shave. So I still got a long list of stuff. I think I'm actually, I might write them down and post like stuff that I have to try just to see if anyone would want to look at it and pick something for me to try for a video. And I'm talking like for the first time, a lot of these soaps. So um, what I'm going to do today though, I feel kind of bad. It took me a long time just with the holidays and whatnot, but I decided I'm going to be shaving with this. Um, Naked Armor sent me this. I told them I would do a video about it. This is a new line that they have. It's called the Solomon line and it's everything from um, pre-shave oil to post-shave balm, all that. And this is the shave cream. So I said, I told him I'd make a video of me using it for the first time. So when I try something for the first time, and especially if I'm doing a video for somebody, um, this is the only product I use. So I'm not going to be doing any pre-shave, um, post-shave, none of that stuff. Um, just to tell them, you know, if, how it smells, how it feels without any intervention from any other product. So, uh, the ingredients, I'm really kind of, it's really tiny. I don't know if you probably won't be able to see it, but, uh, there's a lot of good stuff in this. I mean, the second ingredient after aqua, I guess aqua, whatever water is aloe juice. Um, aloe leaf juice, sodium stearate, glycerin, number four, can't go wrong there. Uh, we got organic cocos nucifera, so I'm guessing cocoa. Whole bunch of stuff in Latin. See, something seed oil, califylum seed oil, organic borage, borage seed oil, seed oil, linum eustatium seed. I really should have looked into this before I started reading it off, but there's oil after oil in this, natural oils. Um, bunch of good stuff in here. So, I will do that if you want to try to pause it. I'll get it as close as I can, as centered as possible. The stupid thing would want to focus. There we go. Bunch of good stuff. All right. If you wanted to pause and read it. So since I'm using a Naked Armor product, I am going to use Naked Armor products to shave with. And I'll show you those here in a second. But uh, this is what it looks like. It's a cream. It's not a soap not a crope and it's not scented it is non scented cream i like scents i love scents that's why i buy scents i understand however why people get unscented because there is a plethora of stuff out there that you'd rather stand out aside from the cream so that's obviously not a deal breaker at all every now and then i do i have a couple of unscented things a few now including this so very cool. Plus, lack of scent means there's no fragrance for those diehard people. My wife being one of them, she doesn't like anything with fragrance. So, all right, today, my shaving implements will be Silver Fox Scuttle from Naked Armor. They sent me this as well. I will be using their black wood handle badger friendly brush. This organic bristles. And I am using a Solomon product, so I will be using a Solomon product. My Solomon straight razor. Just honed it, or not honed it, excuse me. I just stropped it. And that's another thing I wanted to show. I see a lot of people have complaints about this out of the box. I did strop it out of the box. You know, these products say shave ready out of the box. In my own opinion, and I don't want to start anything, but in my opinion, I think it's a little too literal to expect that you're going to yank it out of the box and immediately start hacking away. Um, I personally know, I mean, even if I use a straight razor and I strop it when I'm done, when I go back to use it again, I wash the oil off and I strop it anyways. I know for a fact that I stropped it before, but I just, I do it for, for the habit and for peace of mind. I strop it. So that way I know without a doubt. So all I had to do was strop this out of the box. Um, and what I do because I got such bloody thin hair. This hair is falling out, this isn't. Isn't that cute? My hair is so thin that you could cut my hair with another hair. So what I do is I, when my brushes shed, I keep the hairs to use 
as a test. And these are thick hairs, so if it cuts through these, it'll cut everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. It's ready to go. See, even the tip. So these are good razors. Um, I a lot of I've seen someone liken them to a higher quality gold dollar. I for the most part agree with that. I think it's higher quality than a gold dollar between you and me, but I'm not an expert. Once, you know, people who hone them and deal with these for years and years would have a far better opinion than me. But my experience having a, you know, Tears Izzard and a Dovo and some other ones and gold dollar, I think it's a little bit higher quality than gold dollar, the steel. So, all right. So with that out of the way, six minutes in, go ahead and wet my face. Now, the only thing I'm going to say is I don't use creams a lot. And I mentioned on one of my other videos that I always overdo it with creams. I have uh, my uh, American Shaving Co. creams. I have my Trumper creams. I love them and I use them. I just always overdo it with creams. So I even went back and asked them so as not to look like a gigantic anus, do I use a brush with this? Is this a brushless cream? And Laura, who's very sweet, she's the uh, voice of um, Naked Armor on Instagram and probably most social media. She came back, said, no, we prefer to use a brush. I said, awesome. All I need is enough. Hope I don't screw this up. Not really. But since it's a cream, I had the... And that's another thing. I had a synthetic brush and I have it soaking. See what I mean? Have it. Synthetics, I even soak them. Might seem silly. I think I used Cades Co. from Talbot Shaving last with this brush. Can't wash all of the uh, scent out of it, unfortunately. Maybe could, but it'd take a while. So, all right. Gonna be using Silver Fox. This is a nice scuttle, by the way. $40. NakedArmor.com. They're a good brand. I like them. Their shave pucks are awesome. That one of the shaves I'm going to do. I wanted to use a puck. That's something I wanted to do. I haven't used a puck. I did it just to lather for a video, but to actually shave with one. And their pucks are yummy. So, all right, here we go. Oh, there's a stray hair right there. Okay. So. That looks like it's probably going to be enough. Might be more than enough. I don't know. Those cream users would know. I might have some people face palming right now. That's all right. Add a little bit of water. Here we go. Because that's a smaller tub. Add a tiny dab more. Um, if anyone's ever used the Naked Armor products, they're good. They're, I'm surprised they're not out there a lot more. Their puck and their soap is really citrusy. I really like it. too much water well there you go see fruits in the pudding I don't use creams a lot at all yeah use way too much one of the problems with me not editing my videos that's all right live and learn right never claim to be an expert at this I'm probably not doing this stuff justice. 
but it has a ton of goodies in it. And if you actually know what you're doing with the creams. They weren't really supposed to lather that much. Because it feels slick. To be honest with you. I'm going to try to lather it anyways. Agitate it. And there's enough in it that I'm going to go ahead and do the mustache. But we will find out how this goes. Hope everyone's having a good couple days since I've done the last video. I've been getting a lot more. activity on my channel surprisingly i've gotten 10 new subscriptions in a short time like a week and a half and i used to be at 29 so that's nice whoever's either spreading the word or maybe hopefully are finding stumbling across it i doubt it someone told me that 100 is the hardest number of subscribers to get to because then once you hit 100 is when you start getting noticed more but who knows and i mean i'm not a, i'm not really into it for the subscribers i just really like doing this but i get excited at the same time when i see new people so so to say it's not something i think about that'd be a lie it's exciting especially when i got new people that i talk to and meet that's the biggest thing and I love the constructive criticism. Like right now, this isn't lathering like I thought it would. Maybe it's not supposed to foam up and lather at all. You're supposed to apply it in a thin layer. And anyone watching this who's better at this than myself, maybe give me some tips. I'm always up for that, as you all know. So I am going to try to shave with it, though. So let's see how it goes. And it's slippery as all hell. I mean, slick. So... Trying to think if I want to do two passes or not. You know what? Let's go ahead and say the hell with it. I'm going to do one pass over here against the grain. Just start out that way. And against the grain for me is going like this way. So here we are. Ready? It's cotton. Yeah. It is cotton. Trying to stay in frame here. Gonna need to do it. I should have gone two passes. Oh well, that's on me. And it's so weird underneath my chin. Everything going sideways. It is cutting though. And that's kind of gross, but it is shaving. And it's not bad. I'm going to have to do a second pass. But. It feels nice. 
like I said, very slick. Just not a lot. It doesn't foam up like I thought it would. I was expecting it to foam up like the Trumpers. But it doesn't really. So applying with the brush. I would imagine it was just for the brush's sake to exfoliate and all that stuff. Spread it evenly. I would assume. But, let's see. I love how slick this stuff is, though. One of my other videos, I nicked a pimple right here, and I keep hitting it. So now it's a bump that won't heal, which is annoying as hell. Thank you, ma'am. That's pretty quick. I'm gonna let it sit on my face because that's a lot of good stuff, skin food, I was about to say. I always call it that. Oh, everyone always calls it that, not just me. That's silly. My mustache isn't laying down and growing to the side like I wanted it to, but hey, that's a learning curve too. I've never, I've grown a mustache. I've never really like grown one proper where you try to style it and get all the stuff for it. I'm going to go on Bardigan and Stark, their website. I found some mustache wax light to medium that I'm going to use. Alrighty. So this stuff. Yeah, I like it. I need to try the rest of the line, maybe the pre-shave. I'm sure if I had to try pre-shave. I mean, it was slick. It was plenty slick on its own. So, this stuff isn't bad. Got a couple. Got it, weepers. One zit, it just won't heal. It's annoying. Um, so, I would try it. If you're, if you're into the cream... Um, some people prefer creams and cropes. I'm more of a soap guy. Um, but it's not bad. I'm not saying skip it. Definitely give it a shot. And like I said, a whole line. I mean, they got the post-shave, pre-shave. I think they have a, a beard balm. I mean, it's an entire line, so at least go check it out. Um, the unscented thing. Maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't. I don't prefer unscented. I like my scents. But again, I see a ton of people shaving with unscented stuff. So it's just your preference, honestly. Post shave, I'll tell you about here in a second. I do have that one little weeper, but not red. A little bit there. But I got distracted. I drag a little bit there, I think. And see, when you saw this, it won the razor. You saw how sharp it was, so it was me, like always. Um, I should have done two passes. I got a little too bold there. I should have done two. So that's that's on me, not the product. Um, so it's the Solomon Shave line by Naked Armor. Um, their stuff's a little, some would say it's a little pricey, but I think it's pretty good quality for what you pay for. They're pretty generous with a lot of it. It's, you know, they have straps, they have everything. So give them a shot, definitely. They're really good with customer service, they answer you. 
anytime I have a question. I mean, like I said, I asked about the brush. Oops. And they got right back to me. So. All right, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in. This is still 20 minutes. But check them out. Naked Armor. Um, got They have a bunch of straight razors, too. They have a... Uh, Damascus straight razor I want to get looks really unique so definitely want to look into that and if you watch this the whole way through I really appreciate it like always um, let me know what you think about that idea or I can just maybe I'll put out like either the whole list of soaps I have or I'll put out like five and say pick one that you want to see me use or that I should use that you have used yourself but yeah thank you everyone good seeing you Talk to you soon. Happy shaving.